scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me use this gentleman. Come, please. Now, watch this. If I tell this gentleman, please look up. If I tell this gentleman that seat belongs to you, that is a seat for you. You can go and sit down anytime you want to. Now, please look up. Look up, everyone. I want to have your attention. If I tell this gentleman this seat belongs to you, it was prepared for you, right? And um, prepared by me, this is my gift to you. If this gentleman looks at me and says, Apostle, you can't imagine how grateful I am. Are we together now? And... I expect him to prove that he believes that I'm not joking by taking a step. Are we together? It is his walking down to go and sit down. Are we together now? Now, if he sits on this seat and he breaks and the seat breaks, who is to blame? Are we together? So, if the seat cannot support his weight, then he can safely assume that I'm an irresponsible person but not until he has taken action are we together so the name of that action is faith not the name of his believing his believing is not faith his believing is part of the process that leads to faith i think this is where believers are cheated we claim we believe god but then our lives do not show that we believe him we claim we don't believe the devil but our lives show that we believe him very well. Are you seeing now? We can claim, I don't believe Satan. God forbid, I rebuke you. But all the actions we take are testaments that we believe Satan, we believe his word, we believe his report. I'll give you an instance. Many people claim in the name of Jesus, recession does not come close to me. I mean... Um, the Bible says this and that the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the Lord all that that confession after ranting and rapping our daily lives show that we are living in fear in uncertainty that's faith you are taking in the negative you are you are agreeing with the devil by taking action are we together so faith is the name given I tell this gentleman this seat is for you and he says thank you sir and he takes a step now let me tell you how it works in the realm of the spirit pastor Femi I want you to do something for me can you lift that chair up sorry we're acting a little drama lift it up so he doesn't see it okay now watch this believe there is a chair there go and sit down now I said it softly and it was easy for you to believe because you saw a chair but now in the realm of the spirit the chair is my word the chair is not an object the chair is my word so in the realm of the spirit whether it is my word or a physical chair is the same now if this guy is a believer what that means is whether his eye actually saw a physical chair or not my word is equivalent to that chair and he responds are we together so he comes and he stands and it is up to me to back it up. 
now but this is what happens to many believers in the name of Jesus I call for that chair and God says move and then you take a step and stand here and the devil uses scripture to say look wisdom is profitable to direct there is a difference between a chair and a floor this is the floor and then we stand here and say in the name of Jesus who told you I, I mean I know it there's a chair there we are rapping and saying all kinds of things but the power is released at the point of action not just at the point of wishing sit down please are we together now faith right we're defining terms faith is the name given to the action we take based on our conviction and based on our persuasion of the word of God number three faith is obedience the third definition of faith faith in one word is obedience in two words complete obedience faith in one word is obedience two words complete obedience three words obedience and consistency Are we together now? First John chapter 5 verse 4. The Bible clearly tells us that our victory, the quality of our lives, the exploits that we will do. Please listen. This has nothing to do with ministry, being a man of God or a woman of God. This is a factor that will determine the extent to which we can make progress in life. First John. First John 5 verse 4 okay it's projected it says it did not say faith brings victory faith itself is the victory that overcometh the world and it says even our faith this is the victory that will bring you financial success even your faith this is the victory that will bring you healing even your faith this is the victory that will stamp the gates of hell even our faith that's if you and i are to be victorious in this kingdom we need faith we need to understand it learn how it works and live by it now if you see someone putting trousers on his head trousers your trousers that you wear you see someone just tie it on his head he's either acting or he's mad agreed do we agree because the level of civilization in our world today should not allow a sane man behave like that are we together now when you are dressed in your trousers nobody looks at you and says uh -uh, why did they cut this trouser into two why is your leg in one hole and another no 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 no. it's not strange are we together that's how faith should be you should never have to look at a man and say you're a man of faith that statement alone is a sign that we are not walking by faith are we together this is the victory my victory as a person our victory as a ministry your victory as an individual as a father as a husband as a leader is not just dependent on intellect please i want you to believe this believe this this is not some word of faith doctrine this is the basis of a victorious life on earth even our faith there are a few things we are going to be looking at right now that for me forms the equation of faith haven't agreed that faith has to do with our action I want us to closely look at why many people really do not act in faith are we together let's look at an interesting scripture i want us to examine a figure romans chapter 4. we're going to look at abraham let's take a case study at the life of abraham from verse 18 romans chapter 4 from verse 18. paul was speaking about the man abraham 
and he represented a portrait of a man of faith the bible already told us to look up to abraham so we are looking up to him now there are certain things verse 18 frankly has everything that we need to discuss the dynamics of faith very powerful scripture very very rich ready it says speaking about abraham now listen who against hope you can stop here you can stop here alone and just discuss that meaning it is not unusual for any believer to have an obstacle another word for who against hope means in the presence of an obstacle in the presence of a limitation please listen in the presence of a desire in the presence of a need in the presence of an emergency in the presence of an impossible situation who against hope meaning physically speaking there was no no sense in thinking there could be a way out then he says believed in hope so the first thing we see in that scripture is the presence of impossible situations are we together now listen listen let me tell you something never allow obstacles scare you i think this is a revelation you should write never allow obstacles every obstacle in life comes to you in its magnified form i don't care what it is every obstacle in life every obstacle in ministry it presents itself in its magnified form who against hope who with no job who with no child are we together now who with no father who with no mother who with no sponsor who with no connection who with cancer who with HIV who with a tumor who with a breast lump believed Kabbalataya I like Abraham they didn't say he believed and later discovered there was trouble and say ah if I knew there was trouble I wouldn't have believed he said after being aware of the circumstance he still believed who against hope believed who against that report believed are, are we following who against that report madam you will never have a child we have checked you and we found out there's no fallopian tube who against that report still believe that she will carry as many children as she wants now please let me tell you something it is when faith manifests its results that it becomes pleasant the journey through believing god looks ugly stupid and childish until the results vindicate you make no mistakes to think you will be rejoicing while you are ongoing the bible says there is he that weepeth bearing precious seeds when you hear the testimonies of people we laugh about it as they testify only because we have seen the other side of the miracle but the manufacture process of that miracle it took audacity and seriousness who against hope listen if you are a believer who is alive in our day and our time you better get used to obstacles prophesy to your neighbor and say get used to challenges i didn't say call them they are there there are giants on every mountain if you don't find a giant you are in the valley i guarantee you are we together only god knows the mountains that we are going to face in our lifetime you have the effrontery to declare that our path will be as the shining light shining brighter and brighter who against hope believed are you learning something you know listen 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 when I hear many people talk and they say, Apostle, I don't know what I'm going through. I'm even confused. Then I tell them, what did you expect? To believe when there is no challenge? It is usual to believe in the midst of obstacles. That is even when your faith comes alive.
please i want you to the start of the journey of faith is the presence of impossible situations if you are going to be a leader here let me tell you there is no amount of fasting that will vindicate you from the presence of obstacles you better learn the system to keep you under their feet you see as you grow in the knowledge of god do you know what makes a man called a father of faith he eats challenges as food to a point where he sits and crosses his legs and while they are now announcing and say ah, do you know if you don't produce one billion tomorrow they are going to lock the church he goes to bed the obstacle knows that he's going to give way there is a way you go to hell there is nowhere to run to again and you look at the challenge and you say i'm coming out and it must respect your voice let me tell you one way god makes us overcomers can i tell you it's not very interesting god puts you face to face with your fears until you no longer fear them this for somebody i'm telling you i'm enjoying what i'm saying you can't believe it so he puts you face to face he does not put you to mock you he puts you to reveal the strength invested in your spirit man hallelujah the presence of obstacles let's follow the dynamics believe so the first thing we see is the presence of an obstacle the second thing we see is that through a system we'll be looking at shortly the man chose to believe God spoke to him and this was a prophecy so shall thy seed be as numerous as the sand in the seashore and the stars and Abraham believed believed when Sarah could not bear any child believed in spite of his age he counted God faithful let me tell you something do you notice that the faith of Abraham was hinged on a word are we together are we together now the faith of Abraham was hinged according to that which was spoken according to that which was revealed you cannot stand on nothing and claim you have faith your faith must be hinged on a prophetic word it must be hinged on a revealed word let's discuss proper the dynamics of faith the journey of faith the journey of believing god and taking action starts with revelation everybody write it down revelation revelation the first key to your manifesting a life of faith is revelation revelation what is revelation revelation is insight into the promises of god insight into the provisions guaranteed by scripture revelation 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 also means insight into the system that will deliver the results you desire insight into the system or the operation of the system that will deliver the results you desire there are many systems of operation in the bible that are responsible for the delivery of different results are we together revelation insight the hallmark of revelation is understanding write it down you truly have not had revelation if you do not understand understanding is a point where you now know how that principle works and you know the role you have to play you know the role you have to play good master what shall i do to be saved not do you want to save me the problem with most believers is we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do remember in hebrews 11 last week all through the journey of faith in hebrews 11 they said things or did things they the common denominator 
with all those elders the bible says obtained a good report is that they took action based on their conviction of god's word so we see revelation that leads to understanding listen it is vain to act on a word you do not understand when you don't know your role listen 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 confusion always comes into any life where there is no clarity clarity there must be clarity of assignment clarity of purpose concerning my prosperity oh god what is the way out you see you don't guess your path of breakthrough you find it out through revelation are we together the doctors say i am ss i am on a journey to change that report so what do i do ss i change you it won't change that way that's not faith number one you are not standing on any known word you know you are just speaking blindly you're not going to get a miracle that way is god helping us now many of us think the point of miracle is when we confess scripture no 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 there is a law confession is useless until you believe we are going there with the heart man believes first you don't confess to believe you confess to make it manifest that you have believed the bible calls it the spirit of faith or the operation of faith is god helping us tonight please pay attention to where you have been missing it so that you can correct that link are we together so let's use someone again come thank god you're a doctor now this guy has god forbid in jesus name this guy has um his ss for instance now watch this please because this may be you this guy may be ss are we together now i want to change from ss to aa is god a herbalist no is he a magician no is he a miracle worker absolutely yes so the first thing you have to do is not just to say in the name of jesus me i'm tired of this thing but it's there are we together oh it must change then you go for test no 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 you are taking action based on what are we together now it is not action i'm showing you where we cheat ourselves in the body of christ it must be based on something so this guy the first thing he needs is an encounter with the word that has a provision for his healing you read about money you'll be rich but i guarantee you you'll never you'll never be healed the 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 revelation about money does not bring healing are we together the revelation about money does not bring healing just like jollof rice is not fried rice although rice is involved in the two processes are we together now you do not just read anything and say because it's scripture remember you are reading the words of a man is is his commitment to you the dynamics of faith this guy wants to change his situation the first thing is is he really interested do you know i have found out it's costly to believe that there are people who want their situations to change you may think because they come for miracle service they really want their situations to change it's not true it's not true at all that's why jesus will ask them what should i do for you i can't assume that you are tired of being blind you may just want money are we together now I think it was papa deboye that shared a story of somebody who i think he was crippled or so i can't remember and then he prayed for the person and the person was healed and the person got angry he really got angry because i mean he got a lot of uh, uh generous donations from being crippled people pitied him he didn't have to walk now that his legs were working no more free lunch and he said he told papa Debo, you know he was angry what kind of thing is this you have you have scattered my whole destiny i didn't ask i just asked you for money not for healing as funny as this looks there are people like that there are people who love being pitied they enjoy their attention they get around obstacles so they hug those obstacles and remain there hoping to draw 
empathy through it you will never rise out of challenges that way you must so hate where you are that you do any scriptural thing it takes to get out of there woe to them the bible says what is in zion this guy if he's passive about changing from ss to aa i guarantee you he will remain ss oh can i pray for you yes i don't mind you are just careless and casual there is nothing intentional you are not angry enough it's not a concern to you are we together no you don't approach spiritual things like that that level of 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 um, pacifism does not bring result when you are determined and you are saying the name of jesus christ my entire lineage everybody has been ss i don't find the genotype ss in scripture that means something is wrong somewhere and i'm going to change it so his first assignment is not to start speaking his first assignment is not to run to the hospital for test it will still be ss i guarantee you his first assignment is to find the basis upon which his action will be placed on the word of god you see faith is hard work that's why lazy people cannot believe god faith is not cheap that's why we prefer talking because we think there's nothing to do in the name of jesus i am free you are not free we are seeing it you are not free faith is not foolishness there is an aspect of the equation where you're speaking now gives life but not just that you lazily speak and then you think things will change no sir is god helping us so he's he begins to search the word thank god for technology i download every place where jesus healed matthew mark luke and john while people are snoring their destiny i'm awake showing how serious i am lord i believe and then i begin to study for by his stripes by his stripes the holy ghost begins to take advantage of that word and i see jesus christ on the cross crying and looking at me and i see the blood dripping and the spirit of god takes me to the communion drink this my blood of the new testament an exchange like a blood transfusion whoever drinks of my blood eats of my flesh i'm showing you meditation has my life in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two entities become one i not only believe in him his life he says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life then he says this life is in his son whoever has the son has life now while i'm meditating the devil is trying to tell me when you finish wasting your time i'm there waiting for you but then i take my eyes who against hope and while you are meditating you will feel the pain i'm not telling you you are going to be laughing oh apostle you don't know it's it's 10 years i've been married i know i know it's not easy i can only imagine please I don't want you to ever think faith is not denying pain listen please this is where what preachers have made a mistake sometimes in a bid to help you become a man of faith they can say just pretend there's no pain and you say there, there is pain please there is pain does not mean you don't have faith but what i'm saying is i know that there is an obvious situation but against it against it against it i am looking up to something higher are we together now so i am coughing out blood everybody is seeing that this is blood i can't call it water i will be lying that's stupidity that's not faith this is blood i am i am shrinking it's obvious that this is witchcraft attack but against it i'm believing by his stripes and i'm meditating upon it let me tell you the moment I begin to study through the stories, then I hear while the evening was come, they all came and gathered to hear and to be healed. Now the Holy Spirit locks in there with you. To hear and to be healed. That means the working of miracles is tied to the hearing of faith. The hearing of faith, the working of miracles. The hearing of faith, the working of miracles. There is something you must hear to 
bible says you act on that word a word that is spoken the hearing of faith you see now the word of god is growing in my spirit the holy ghost is infusing something in me the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles you are trusting to that fire petrol on fire your spirit is ready for miracle service now you are coming for miracle service not carelessly people just strolled and came let's come and see what will happen but you have already come with a revelation the hearing of faith the working of miracle are we together now the hearing of faith the moment the man of god comes up your spirit is open the hearing of faith the working of miracles in the name of jesus christ be healed and you don't just stand and say but i didn't fall and you are saying a lot of stupid things that are cheating you while you are standing wasting three hours and you are being cheated there the hearing of faith it is useless to take action when understanding is not there understanding defines your role in the equation please write this down but it works through faith the grace of god appeared to you but the action of faith there was endurance there as free as salvation is someone must take a step of faith is that true please don't get into this understanding that because it's by grace it comes to you by itself you have a part to play you are God. that's why we call the meeting koinonia it's a sharing together it's a participation if you understand this key you will know that you are to sit down and wait for god blindly is to sit down and wait in frustration forever are you getting what i'm saying now we're examining the dynamics of faith so understanding now i have come to a point let me use finances now this gentleman was born from a background for instance poverty causes yokes suffering you know all kinds of things this person gets tired of his situation and prays and fasts and say lord change my life now let me tell you what that fasting will do that fasting will enable the holy spirit lead him to a tape lead him to a book or lead him to the word because it is not magic the best he can get from that prayer and fasting is favor that is instantaneous someone will just come and say the lord told me to give you twenty thousand. that is good but that's not it's not enough to fund your destiny so go encourages that current situation because you are hungry it's obvious you will die if it doesn't show up so twenty thousand is given to you to help you but that does not mean that's his system of doing things now you go and study the word directly or through men and women who by grace they've had access to that revelation now listen i begin to study the word of god and i find out that there is a role i have to play are we together now I, there is a role God has to play. This is God here. And his part is eternally settled. Don't confuse this. So I now begin to search from the word of God. There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. That scripture attacks my greed. And I come to terms with the fact that I'm a greedy person. I've never helped anybody that scripture he that gives to the poor lends to the lord ah i've not given to anybody so this is the key yet ye have robbed me lord i believe i'm now seen i've always been greedy and i told you remember hebrews 11 the first elder the bible talked about was abel it says by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice he gave lavishly because he believed that god was his supplier cain was a miser because he did not believe there can be another supply let me tell you greed is one of the proofs of unbelief that's why politicians are very lavish because they know they can fetch it again so they are not necessarily walking by faith but there is a conviction that they can fetch it anytime people are greedy because they do not think 
it will never be enough by faith Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice is God speaking to someone here let me show you the makeup of our faith where we miss it in the dynamics of faith let me show you a very interesting scripture bless you bless you bless you let me show you one scripture God gave me a revelation that I mean it just blew me in a way um, Matthew 17 please we'll read verse 15 to 20 media help us it's going to be us tonight Matthew 17 15 to 20 Matthew 17 15 to 20 Matthew 17 15 to 20 are you there now watch this this was the case of a lunatic right he says lord have mercy on my son the father of the boy now for he is lunatic and so vexed and often he fallen into the fire and off into the water we're reading down to 20 and brought him to the disciples and they could not heal him so this was a situation where the disciples tried to act are you seeing that it's not all about action and jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer permit you bring him hither to me verse 18 and jesus rebuked the devil and he departed at him and the child was cured from that very hour 19 then came the disciples now listen listen came the disciples to jesus apart and said why could not we cast him out why could not we prosper why were we not healed they were asking a question why we did not get results verse 20 i want you to look at this scripture god gave me a powerful revelation i'm about to show you i've heard many preachers talk about it but god gave me a new light it says and jesus said unto them because of your unbelief please listen it says for verily verily i say unto you if you have faith and say grain of mustard seed not size and the bible says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest meaning your faith is inactive until it is planted until it is planted the seed is the word the soil is your heart faith is of the heart he's giving us an understanding to the operation of faith if your faith can act in the similitude of a monster seed it is the smallest but when you plant it in the right soil give it time are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not talking about size many of us just come and say the size does not matter are you kidding faith is a seed is like the mustard seed how do you benefit from the mustard seed i have i have a, a, a little bowl full of mustard seed and sometimes i look at it i turn it it's so small really tiny i turn it and it doesn't even fall you know just sticks to the bottom of the bowl and i'm looking at it i say oh this little thing and this is what the bible says our faith will be like but the wonder of that seed is when it gets to the soil meaning your faith standing inactive not reaching your spirit once the word of god has not gotten into your spirit faith cannot be produced it must be like the mustard seed planted watered allowed to grow then it moves mountains the seed does not move mountains the tree the seed produces is what moves mountains Is God helping us tonight? So revelation, understanding, produces conviction. Now, the point of conviction in the faith equation is what we have called belief, pistis. Belief, belief, conviction, persuasion. Are we together? Belief is not the same thing as faith. Belief leads to the manifestation of faith but belief is not the same as faith the moment you are believed then you are now ready to take action but that does not mean you have manifested faith by itself 
I believe God will prosper the business. I have studied the word of God. I understand the dynamics. I have sown a seed. I have studied. I have gotten mentorship. Now you have believed. The next thing is to take action. This is where the action part that we call faith comes in. Are you seeing now? Most people start taking action blindly and we never get anything. Number one, an encounter with the word produces revelation, leads to understanding. Understanding leads to your knowledge of what your role is in getting that desired outcome. Then you are convicted. We call it persuasion. You are now persuaded beyond the obstacle. So I know that there is an obstacle before me but i also know that that mountain is surmountable now i can take steps are we together romans chapter 10 please we'll read from verse 8 to 10. let's look at some of the actions that we can take to complete the faith equation there are not many actions we take the actions are broadly obedient actions broadly obedient actions it says but what saith it the word nigh thee now listen even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach this is the dynamics of faith now right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved verse 10 this is the correct protocol for confessing the word of god the correct protocol for confessing the word of God is first with the heart man believes. Then with the mouth confession is made. Are we together? The Bible calls it the operation. In fact, this is what the Bible calls the spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians 4.13. Give it to us please. 2 Corinthians 4.13. 2 Corinthians 4.13 but we having the spirit or the operation of faith as it is written right it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written how is the spirit of faith the word spirit there means the operation of faith so also if you want to operate it this is what you must do you must believe and then you speak you don't just speak blindly brothers and sisters the word confession comes from the hebrew word homologio and the, the the context of the word is to repeat as you have heard but it's not just to speak as you are hearing it is actually to repeat on the strength of the conviction you have based on what you have heard it literally means reflect the person talking to you both in conviction and communication not just speaking the person talking to you is standing upon an understanding you too stand upon that understanding and then you speak are we together there are different actions please listen write this down there are different actions that the Bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions that the Bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions an example of such actions number one speaking speaking consistent with god's word speaking is an action that the bible requires there are instances in scripture where the delivery of certain results are tied to your speaking releasing the power of creation the creative force of the word calling the things that be not as though they are number two giving there is the action of giving piece of a seed a piece of anything that is of worth is an action there are instances in scripture that will require that action to perfect your faith are we together the third action a step of faith physical steps of faith as in the case of healing physical steps of faith you move the part of your body that could not move you try to take action by faith physical steps of faith physical steps of faith number four 
obedience to revealed instructions obedience we are stating some of the actions that can be taken that the word of god the step you need to take is obedience to an instruction given by god there are faith actions is god helping us the end of your faith experience is that you get to a point where you now commit god now listen god write this down god is only committed when your obedience is perfected god is only committed when your obedience please i want you to understand this god is a loving god he's a gracious god but he has subjected himself to the influence of his word the bible says that he exalts his word even above his name god only committed to your cause and to your life where your obedience is complete the bible tells us in habakkuk chapter 2 it says the vision will speak in the end it didn't say the vision will speak in the beginning you will take steps and it will look like nothing is happening another word for faith is consistency is god helping us please action let me emphasize a, a little more about this action action taking action for me is about the hardest aspect of faith do you know why because sometimes write it down most faith actions are risky most faith actions are what risky most faith actions are risky you have two hundred thousand you are looking for two million and the holy ghost speaks to you and says so everything and you have 72 hours to raise that money now that's risky what if that was not god you have complicated the case listen another word for faith is r-i-s-k is a risk that's how you spell faith is spelled R I S K. Play it safe, you will lose out in life. You must be audacious, not stupid, audacious. That's why your faith must rest upon something. God said this. I take him by his word. If I perish, I perish, but I count him faithful. Are we together? It had never happened, but Noah, I will do it. See, training yourself to hear God is one of the greatest investments you can make in your life. Write it down. Growing to a point spiritually when you learn how to hear God is, is, is a treasure you will, you will live to enjoy for the rest of your life. Because the problem for many people is whether it is really God the problem is not that they do not have the grace to obey let me tell you why the disciples obeyed effortlessly they could not doubt that it was not God they said that which we have seen that which we have heard that which we have handled right and Satan has done something to our generation Satan has created a haze and a cloud around spiritual perception there is no time in human history where there is confusion about discerning what god is saying he has corrupted every avenue every biblical avenue to hear god because satan knows that faith comes by hearing so he focused on corrupting dreams corrupting visions are we together so now you don't even know whether the person you saw in the dream is your husband again because you saw somebody whereas it would have been a good opportunity but satan has now confused it you saw 20 faces you don't even know there's you, you are not you are even afraid of the dream we've had people who were praying and landed in shika there have been cases like that people praying in tongues you see how satan wants to corrupt everything let me tell you something 
satan fears that men hear god because he knows that when men hear god they can take action and if it is god he will commit himself so satan's project in your life is to confuse you as much as possible so because he knows that your faith is tied to the word of god it's tied to the clear of what you know what god is saying if someone walks up to me now and says apostle do you know this koinonia program you are holding is not in the will of god you are out of the will of god and you have been walking in disobedience you are about to die now i'm not going to go back and say god please help me is it that i didn't hear you the encounters that lead to this was so certain brothers and sisters never do anything major in your life until there is solid conviction but i know god sent me do you know why many people chicken out the voice of god is not clear don't marry when you have not had the voice of god don't give birth to children when you have not had the voice of god you thought you had seven now when the going gets tough you hear three it's not clear see i'm saying this let me show us where because you see him i told us last week i hope you know during the time of the apostles they didn't have this so their faith was entirely dependent on what jesus told them jesus told them go to the lost sheep of israel the kingdom has come heal the sick cast out them when he was speaking faith was planted they believed him did they believe him they were persuaded now he did not go with them so you don't have to wait until you see the physical presence of jesus they went he sent them just like he's sending his word so his word went with them don't, jesus must appear before you obey his word is him in your life he said go now don't think they were just laughing when they saw someone's hand twisted in a way that it say, is there bone in this i say yes heal the sick as you go i tell you this happens to me all the time we returned from yola it was a mighty from from mubi it was such such a mighty mighty crusade i mean there were all kinds of miracles 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 it was very humbling nobody gives me a guarantee that's why people stage manage miracles it's not easy because they want to make sure they can create it if god didn't speak let's speak so they can say hey, jimmy behave your hand is not working well so that if god does it or not at least you can release your hand and say it's working now because faith is hard work if faith is not hard work nobody will fake miracles are we together god will never give you any guarantee outside of his word looking for any guarantee out of his word is unbelief he will send you with his word watch this i have money here i like using money to teach come the guy is already smiling <laughs> watch this hold this what is this you can't say you don't know it what is this money one thousand naira. please look up look up call this the word of god are we together now this water is 1000 naira huh are you holding 1000 naira this is the evidence of what you have not seen is that true this is faith is the substance this is water for you this is the same as water because it can buy water are we together go and drop it and pick water and come back so shall my word not return drop it now and come it shall accomplish because his word is currency when he sends you the word can buy you things miracles signs this guy dropped the 1000 now the way God, once the miracle happens the process is reversed the word returns back to him ready to be sent again the word is like a messenger it returns to god meaning it has not yet returned to heaven and it will stay there waiting for your faith to insist believe what i'm telling you don't think i'm motivating you because the fire in nigeria will require you understanding this yes that's the song that's the song the word you speak can do what what's the song can turn things around now watch this i've given him the word of god hold it this is the word of god spirit and life are we together 
and then you drop it they will say you are too small to hold it whoever can hold it can receive it so the word of god watch this because you rejected it as many as received him he gave them power to become they received so they had power to become so he gives you a word son you are going to your marriage will be a blessing your children surround your table as at the time he's, he's saying this you ask a lady out and say i want to see your parents and she said don't ever talk to me about marriage again but the word of god says your marriage will be a blessing are we together the word of god to you comes male and female he created them he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her maid is to take this word and never let it go you can fall but hold the word i guarantee you if you hold this word it will bring you a result it will bring you a result i know what i'm saying that is how this work that we are doing by grace came that is how this thing you see will come into your life now anybody who ignores the word of god is really foolish you are studying the word of god is the same thing as using an atm every time you are studying imagine yourself using an atm please answer me is this minerals help me is this minerals if i dash this guy now and i say buy bonds after the program he will be laughing did i give him boss did i give him um, minerals i gave him the substance of what he's hoping for i gave him the evidence of what he has not seen so paul says now faith is the word of god i give you the equivalent of the blessing here is the principle to cash it and he say god i want money and he says you are foolish you see how foolish a lot of people are you will excel i'm showing you rugged faith because i'm telling you our generation is a generation of complete unbelief try to do anything that is of faith people will call you stupid that's why people don't get any significant results in their lives when it's time to pray for the sick god told us to put a miracle service so we tell the sick bodies come listen how come i am laying hands on somebody how am i sure or how am i not sure that this guy has a communicable disease that can infect me too do you know the kinds of people i have laid hands on tuberculosis whatever if i am lying with this thing i'm telling you by now you will know you are praying for him the problem is on the leg you are praying on his head he's saying no no he's here as if it's where you touch it's not just where you touch when you take panadol do you swallow it from your leg no 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 answer me you just swallow it and go to bed the drug knows how to find its way and solve that problem why have we downgraded the word of god help that lady under the anointing look at me i'm showing you a principle that if you understand you will change your life are we together so shall my word be so shall my word be so shall my word be god gives you a word hey jimmy i want to make you a billionaire take that word i am making you a kingdom financier you take that word by the time he's giving you that word your atm is 20 naira so what who taught you that this is not currency please believe what i'm telling you so you take that word you've not been pregnant you've been trying and trying the baby has refused to come kill me he sent forth his word if i give you one thousand together with the skill of a doctor and the doctor now says lie down and cuts you opens you and removes whatever tumor you will be grateful god gives you this and says this is both doctor this is both money just take it now let me tell you something the moment you fulfill your part of the deal this word is so powerful it can become anything the bible simply said the word became flesh flesh means it had a material substance albert einstein suffered and did something 
to the world that we have refused we have punished people and given them zero in physics not knowing that that albert einstein formula is the secret for transferring spiritual realities he gave us a relationship between energy and matter that energy and matter are interconnected they can be changed it's not physics that spirit that's that's the word of god he simply calls spirit energy because there is nothing else he can call it there is a system that transfers the word of god to a material vessel you are standing and god says i'm going to give you a house where is the house in his word take that word the word itself will begin to move people I look at things in my life today that God told me they will come and I watched them come today and I said Lord so your word really brought this anything the word of God cannot produce is not available write it down don't let no herbalist fool you don't let no science deceive you whatever the word of God if the word of God cannot give you a child I guarantee you no amount of witchcraft and diabolism will give you a child they will only give you trouble in human form hallelujah is god helping us revelation leads you to understanding brings you conviction now convicted you know what you should do then you take consistent action consistent action you're not going to take you see you must add to your action patience brothers and sisters you must add to your action patience nobody plants maize and comes next week in the farm and gets angry when you plant maize what do you expect to happen to it please answer me when you come back and you just see one little green thing do you complain you start rejoicing my maize is growing so why don't you celebrate the miracles when they start the leg could not move before but now something is happening it's moving and you just look and say Kai, this man is fake it's not working when elijah saw the cloud like the fist of a man's hand immediately immediately he rejoiced he didn't say i will keep praying until the environment is tense immediately he saw that he knew that the system of transportation had arrived the goods had arrived and he started preparing to run i'm on my way to better days listen faith faith is god's system of rescue you may say i did not come from a good background listen to me you may say my father was this and that i didn't have the opportunity to be educated i didn't have the opportunity to grow up in london i came from a village faith is the victory faith is the victory we are gathered here tonight because of faith god sent a word men believed it they walked with it they mounted pressure on his integrity i'm on my way to paradise hallelujah one time we're returning from i don't know which of the i, I can't remember where we went now and a lady sent me a text and said she saw whether she saw me having an accident or something or a plane crash now it may be that that's what the devil had planned to kill me on the road but you see i have an understanding that at the point of obedience god is also committed not just to bring his word to pass to protect you while you are obeying him are we together now i can sit down and just make noise and brag and say no no no, no i will not die and jam myself and shred myself into pieces they will carry my bones and bury me. you will just cry for one week i know you love me but i tell you one week and that's all koinonia continues i go to heaven but i didn't finish my assignment are we together see the next time you make an audacious statement pause sila 
ask yourself what am what rock is my house built upon because it is never the building it is what the building is upon you are seeing people dying you better ask questions it's happening are we together you are not giving birth please i want us to be honest with ourselves this night we are going to examine the areas in our lives where things are not working and find out what part of this equation am i missing good master what must i do good master what must i do oh god of prosperity what must i do god of influence what must i do there is no excuse there is no excuse there is no excuse oh and wizards nonsense there is one person getting a result is god challenging us we must take responsibility over our lives over our lives over our lives and he will protect you god gave us a word we believed it there are many things that god has said to me even in recent times and these things look big and gigantic but then i just told him i said lord i'm a believer you have trained me well you trained me well in the school of the spirit God trained me to believe him. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he will give up listen the word of God that, yes the word of God just with the word of God yes I will it created the heavens and the earth it can create my destiny I don't believe it keep watching ha. when a man has vowed to believe God I show you a dangerous man you stand on his way the word will clear you as if he didn't see you Never conclude on a man who has vowed to be addicted to see let me tell you do you know why I preach and talk to you I have seen what God has told me you will become I have seen it not just in visions he has told me I prayed to God one time and I said Lord I don't want to pastor people who are weak I want spiritual men but men of influence and God told me this is what you do so you are sitting now I know you are wearing a rubber shoe don't worry you will see what will happen to you i've said it prophetically we will all be great and the greatest part is we will all know ourselves i said this thing when we were sitting on mat i believe yes lord I yes lord i believe is we now let me tell you you can choose to there is something called the mystery of mockery a lady gets up in the night and she's prophesying i'm a virtuous woman in the name of jesus she's reading books and you say are you this desperate for a husband the mystery of mockery see let me tell you do you know why many of us don't this this our this our wanting not wanting a bad name huh I don't want you to say I am this and that see if you don't make up your mind to obey the word of God and you leave the word of God because you are trying to be nice to people you will fail and they will not come to help you are we together mockery when you saturate your phone with nonsense music you are listening to anything and it doesn't matter and you say look I have to be social right I said before you life and death I said before you blessing and cursing because there are people listening to me right now and we think what I'm saying is nonsense you will find them they want money they want influence they want anointing but they will never listen while the word is coming like this they sit down there in pride and they are arguing it and then they never really get any result I have not seen one person who is ashamed of God and ashamed of the things of God who rose up gloriously in his life you pray in tongues you have a little corner you are praying in tongues somebody just enters and you just behave as if as if as if what you are doing is an embarrassment 
outspoken obedience because you believe God God said it I believe it one day God will tell you carry 80% of your clothes share them strategically ha! God I just bought this one you would have given me the instruction before this one arrived can you do it don't laugh I'm telling you why people never rise see let me tell you something about not just prosperity but the blessing of God if you do not stretch your 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 giving life you know how a rubber ring is you must get to a point where you are you can release anything at the word of God otherwise get ready to be poor I say this the key to increase is not greed the key to increase is not business the key to increase is activating the word of God you are not a title you are scripturally entitled to poverty I guarantee you I guarantee you it is not a gimmick by a man of God to collect your money where people of integrity most people are not consistent titles most people don't give we are greedy greedy not to the poor not sowing into anointings not nothing yet you want a harvest to come from where the bible says if the cloud if your cloud be full of rain i cannot afford to walk into a future i have not sent seeds ahead of no are we together the word of god i believe this word and i act on it i act on it this is the word that has helped us so far when you stand before a sick body there is no guarantee you can pray in tongues and do all you need to do but at the point of obedience jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick come so this brother is sick I know he's sick we are all seeing the lump i'm seeing it he's feeling the pain but jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick now it is up to me to look and say kai you said how did this thing come and just turn back let me tell you what i've done i have robbed god of the opportunity to prove himself now somebody may ask apostle but the other time i did exactly what the word of god said and it did not happen do you still count him faithful? Let me tell you something about God. If you obey God sincerely from your heart and there is no result, then it has not finished. Keep watching. There is hope for a tree, even though it be cut short. He said, at the scent of water. Have you watched films, actor and the boss? They will beat the actor as if he entered a meat machine. You will think he's dead. But from the beginning of the film, a ghost appeared and told him he was going to make it. You know all those kind of films. While they are beating him, he's remembering that vision. And sometimes he would die truly. Then the ghost will appear and give him life because the ghost must defend what she said. Oh, come on. If a ghost can appear to defend it, why not die believing God? It's better than living, believing men who cannot help you. I believe God. Seated in this place, bless you, are men and women who are where they are today because they have believed God. Let me tell you, make no mistakes. Scattered in this congregation and people following online are men who are where they are today because they have believed God. By faith. There are people here who were once Muslims, right? We have some of them here. By faith, they believed God and his prophecy and they denied the shame. Some of them went through hell in their families, including death threat. By faith, God committed himself. But people sold cars and houses like idiots. Believing the word of God, there is he that scattered and yet increases. There's a man years ago he's a pastor he gave this testimony true story he went for a convention and there was a building they wanted to roof it and they were raising funds for the roof and you know he had his own house beautiful house personal house and the holy ghost ministered to him 
and said son i want you to give this house to that church they will sell it and roof the house he didn't know how to tell his wife that's why i said it's good to hear god as soon as he held the wife's hand she started crying because her too had had the instruction from god and she looked at him and she said if it is god let's give it let me tell you something they came out of that house as landlords and became tenants what do you call that in our society stupid stupid is that not true your parents will say never come for koinonia again if this what that idiot is teaching you people don't ever but they they remember the word of god not just intention not just desire the word of god do you know they sowed that seed it was heavy upon them but from that day the lord spoke to that man and said you will never build a house in your lifetime again as at the time he was speaking i think he had at least 17 of those houses all gifts somebody comes and says god said i should give you this bungalow please come and look at this house if you like it now you like the man's story do you like what he did if you claim to be abraham's children you will do the works of abraham he took his only begotten son there are men who God gave them instructions all through this year from 12 o'clock till 3 o'clock spend time with me 12 to 3 is me and you that's hard work there are people God give instructions first one year January 1st to December 1st there are people here there was a gentleman that fasted 400 days 400 days I rounded up the last day with him I've never fasted 400 days in my life six to six not not six to ten six to six please i'm challenging you koinonia your destiny is in your hands everybody say my destiny is in my hands if you want to rise up you can take this word today next week i'm going to be teaching us on faith boosters i'm going to be teaching us the mystery of thanksgiving praise partnership the things that help faith to stand Romans chapter 4 verse 18. Let's attempt to round up. We are going to pray tonight. This is the victory. Romans 4 18. Believed. So let's look at a few words. Those are the key words there. Against something. He believed that he might become according to that which was spoken. God spoke something in my life. I see obstacles standing against I believe that I may become that which has been spoken say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus everything God declared about me I make up my mind that I will walk by faith I make up my mind that I will live by faith One of the things God is already telling me about the miracle service, this month's miracle service, is that he's going to be focusing on fruitfulness. This fruit, we are going to deal with this issue of barrenness, this miracle service. If that's the only thing we do, we are going to trash it to nonsense. Next week, we are going to announce it. I don't care where the baby will grow. Whether it's on the leg, on the head, that baby must grow. Do you believe God you believe God for miracles I wish I wish I can I can bring my heart and put it into you so that you will understand this thing nothing will ever change in your life until you walk by faith look at me nothing will ever change in your life until you choose to walk by faith but apostle what if it does not work let it not work then you blame god but not before the system of the kingdom is not until you see results step first there are people god has given instructions here they will never take a step there is an action you must take do you know there are times that god can give you a crazy instruction go and lock go and lock yourself in a room the action may be praise Tehillah, praise God. You know those Igbo songs? Those, those, what they call them? 
and God can just close you there and say dance for one hour it looks stupid are we together you feel you are too big uh -uh. dance again God just say I should sow because we think he, he uses the foolish things let me tell you I want you today to learn to be a child before God sometimes the instruction God can give you is when you come for koinonia as praise and worship is going on or worship just lie down flat on the floor that's an instruction that's an instruction it looks stupid but there is a miracle in that instruction the miracle is not in lying down the miracle is the unashamedness to obey God are we together I remember a woman one time she had been trusting God I don't know why I'm talking about barrenness she had been trusting God for a child and the Lord gave her an instruction she said she should buy she should buy children's clothes baby clothes for two people who already gave birth in the church do you know this woman went and they said God told her this was what she said that the money she would have used for her own child this woman shopped like die and divided it into two and gave those children like two months she took in she took in in Mubi where we went um, they might even be following online now the last time we went before last week while we went there one particular person he believed you know the wife they'd been trusting God for a child a lecturer there in the university there and nothing had come and he believed the instruction he believed God gave him was that he should drive me that was the instruction throughout the program a doctor PhD dropped his pride and was the one who was driving me all around drove me all through when we left that place I think it was one month later his wife took him when I went I went to pray for them where was the demon where was the cause the cause is only stand because your disobedience keeps them standing when you are ready to radically obey not not half obedience let me tell you I believe in my spirit one of the greatest areas of disobedience in our lives is giving I'm not saying this because I want money I fear God please don't don't please don't confuse this I want you to prosper one of the reason why many of us may never rise in our personal finances where we are is this giving thing is that you you would rather pray for 12 hours than to give 1,000 naira. you can even pray and do frog jump as you are praying but the money should come out of your pocket no so you never rise your spirit is charged but you are poor So you excuse the instruction by going for prayer department meeting you even go by three and say lord i give you one year extra prayer before they start no every result every result has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction the apex of your faith work is when the instructions come obey fast and obey completely obey fast and obey completely bishop oyedeko was sharing how that while they were dedicating covenant university in the presence of dignitaries people coming from different nations other intellectuals he said the lord told him with his suit or whatever it is that he was wearing to lie down flat by the gate of covenant university in the presence of everybody to lie down flat and hand over covenant university to him and he said that was what he did in the presence of everybody he went down flat now it's easy for you to go down if you like you can fall down or lie down flat but for a man at that level he said he laid down flat and he said lord i hand over this university to you And you can see that it is God that is leading it. You know when God is leading a thing. Please, I'm speaking to us. It's time to lay your burdens down. And pick something higher. And start running with tangible results. For some of us, throughout this 2016, the only thing that has moved forward in your life is your prayer life. Nothing else has moved forward. That's not the will of God. It's the will of God that everything will move forward. hallelujah our parents have disobeyed God to their peril 
they, they never walk by faith so this car i bind that spirit i suffered with my money this is my first car so it becomes your last one you stay with it there and punish the whole family members do you know let me tell you the thing about faith if you are not manifesting faith and you see someone manifesting faith and getting results do you know what will happen to you you will be angry that's all that's why the society is full of angry people what is this lady doing that they are promoting her in the office she must be sleeping with the manager no sir you she's obeying every instruction god is giving and she's three years in that place of work but she has risen you are there but you will never obey god do, do not over intellectualize god god is spirit god is spirit god gave a corporate instruction and they obeyed when was the last time if you cannot look at your life and say you had an instruction from god honestly honestly something is wrong with your spiritual life you should go for a retreat when god begins to give instructions femi wake up it's two o'clock but i need to speak to you just spend some time no more sleep and you put worship song and you're just walking around lord why are you waking me by two it looks like these kind of things have become extinct in the body of christ where god wakes people when you say god wake me people look at you we wish god you god doesn't know who to wake he's, he's waking you you see we, we have become not not koinonia now not koinonia where spiritual people but i'm saying this carnality has so swept the body of christ when people say god spoke to me just I beg there, god, god does, doesn't know what to speak to what what made us become like this god can say stand up femi he may not tell you why he's just saying pray just keep praying Shakata, badakata, badakata. that's all the instruction god gave walk around and pray 30 minutes he has not said anything 40 minutes he has not said anything 50 minutes he has not said anything one hour he has not said anything you remain at the last place of instruction until another one comes and you continue praying one hour 10 minutes you are still praying in tongues an anointing comes on you and he says speak your Bible and you begin to write I will make you exceedingly great God is a master of speaking to people in the night as anybody that knows God the night time is when his voice is, is, is clear all the people who don't have faith are sleeping God is speaking to you I will make you exceedingly great he will use a scripture as I was with Moses so I will be with you at Jimmy you wake up in the morning with that word guys the lord has spoken to us he said he will be with us in koinonia ah oh, let's see what will happen and you begin to see evidences of his presence there are promises that god has given me i have a very deep covenant with god i have a very i respect the speakings of god there are things god has told me I look forward to my birthdays i look forward to the end of the year when we finish koinonia now while i start my retreat i look forward to hearing what god says you see let me tell you one thing that will boost your faith is to create seasons where you meet with god god jesus we are one with him but he's not our mate all this nonsense that is a god if you want to touch me talk to me anytime you need to create a time i'm busy looking for money looking for fame looking for wife and husband and we never hear him one word from god will give you what you are fasting for for 100 years listen brothers and sisters where you are in life somebody was once there it took faith for them to live there you have refused to leave that place and leave the space for others use your faith and get out of that place in this kingdom last scripture it is unto you according to your faith it is unto you matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 the last scripture we'll look at today and then we'll pray i want us to take 10 minutes really praying in the spirit matthew chapter 9 from verse 27 actually to 29 but you can leave it to 30 but 29 please watch this it's projected and when jesus departed thence two blind men how many blind men Two blind men followed him. Question, how can a blind man follow somebody? It didn't say they called him. 
two blind men looked for him and followed him. They had heard about him. Are we together? I'm sure they had been discussing the day this man comes near here. That's the day our eyes will open. What of you is a me too? My eyes will open. That's why they were friends. Two blind men. If two blind men can be friends with themselves for their healings, you should make friends with good people. Don't make friends with people who choke your faith. You want to take a step of faith. You carry the 10,000 naira. They just hold you and say, sorry, yo. it's not like I'm saying you should not give, but you too, be, be, be wise. I just say, oh, it's true. Oh God, you see, that's not a good friend. That's a nice friend, but it's not a good friend. And when Jesus departed tents, two blind men followed him crying and saying, Thou son of David, they interceded for one another. Have mercy on us. We have discussed this thing. We are determined as friends to be free. Next verse. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. Do you know it's interesting how Jesus acts? Sometimes he will just ignore you as if he does not see you full of grace and truth the fountain of love having two blind men call on him and he just walks away and leaves them and gets into a room and watches their faith they try to stagger their way into the room and he says you are qualified for a miracle then you sit down in your home and think that god will just come to your home and give you a miracle you are dreaming two blind men are we christians are we christians i hope you know that this is this is jesus we're talking about not the disciples would have said they are proud but this is the living logos two blind men the bible says when he came into the house what happened do you know the blind men would have been angry and said you are an man you are not the messiah and they would will he change him just like many people get angry with god he is still king of kings the heavens are worshiping him you are there in hell and so you have to follow him through this one leg following and don't follow with the other leg is why many people are cheated if you will follow him go all the way then he says the blind man came to him and jesus said to them listen believe ye that i am able to do this in other words that you are standing in the presence of the world does not mean you will get a miracle do you believe are you convicted do you see that i am able to do this And this is what they said they said unto him yeah lord 29 then he touched their eyes at what point did he touch their eyes they believed they came they had done their part of the deal he now touched their eyes and this is what he said while he touched their eyes according to my ability help me please in response to the action your journey of faith started not from when i came your discussion that you must be healed while you were doing that the word was a witness to your conversation like the woman with the issue of blood who told herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment and now jesus came and they went i'm sure they were tired and they said let's just continue he says according to all that activity not just you're saying yes according to everything you started doing to that point be it unto you so when God gives you prosperity according to your endurance according to the time when you sowed a million naira and a harvest didn't look like it was coming it is still part of the equation of faith according to the time when you were sick and you tried getting up and you fell when you fell you would have been discouraged but you still said Lord I believe you according to your faith listen it is not the last thing you do before the miracle that is your faith is the summation of the entire process of action that is your faith man of god according to your faith you you deserve the anointing when you were praying nobody watched you i was watching are we together it was in response to my word when others were sleeping you were standing mommy when you were interceding for your daughter i was watching is faith look let me tell you when you see successful people in the kingdom and you say it's not fair you must be joking when God is supervising the law himself we're going to pray we must stop here tonight but I want to challenge your faith hear me people of God 
if it will ever change in your life it's not all up to god sisters hear me we have lovely sisters in this place but i want you to rise in this season not just spiritually rise in every aspect of your destiny and it's got to be by faith brothers you will be established by faith not by jobs the just shall live not by paycheck the just shall live how by faith if you think all you will ever get in life is because of the certificate you are holding get set for a shock in this life i tell you without any fear or fail somebody can sit down on your promotion and just hate you we have wicked people controlled by demon spirits in this life but your faith I am where I am today by the grace of God, but it is through faith. By grace, through faith. You will prosper by grace, through faith. You will walk in the anointing by grace, through faith. It will never be outside of it. You will rise by grace, through faith. Rise up on your feet. Hold your hands, everybody. Let's pray in tongues. Himarama. Imarama Imarama You are seated on the throne Imarama Imarama Yeah He is my king. Hey. He is my king. He is seated on the throne. He is my king. You are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, Yahweh. Seated on the throne, unto him who sits upon the white horse, it's unto you who sits upon the white horse. You are Yahweh. Last week 
for those who are not around last week please please i want you to get the teaching i shared a very powerful mystery i'll recap on it very quickly and then we will pray hallelujah such an anointing in this place is seated on the throne he is yahweh Seated on the throne. Hallelujah. One of the greatest blessings personally upon my life, aside from my love and the revelation of the Holy Spirit to me, one of the greatest assets in my life is a comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. Please listen, pay attention. Please give me one. The mysteries of the kingdom. I told us last week that a mystery is a secret code of operation. Witchcraft works by mysteries. The kingdom works upon mysteries. Success is not a mistake. Deliverance is not a mistake. Healing is not a mistake favor is not a mistake breakthrough is not a mistake all through from genesis to revelation the bible is full of men who dare to understand the principles of the kingdom and on the strength of that understanding they did exploits and i just want to share one principle that the lord has been putting upon my heart listen god began with us last week if you understand this singular principle that i'm teaching you Many of you, that will be your gift for the miracle service. And you can literally walk out of here and guarantee that you will be a champion. Hallelujah. I began to share with us what I call the dominion mystery of tithing. The dominion mystery of tithing. Please pay attention. The dominion mystery of tithing. That there is a relationship between a tenth portion and a man's dominion upon the surface of the earth. Many preachers have taught the controversial subject of tithing and they have taught it only within the circumference of finances. And whilst that is true, there is more to it. There are so many of us here that are stealing from our future and authorizing the powers of darkness to make and keep us victims. But tonight I pray that the light will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis how that when God made the Garden of Eden, watch this. The Bible says God put Adam there and he gave him an instruction. He said, of every tree in this garden you may freely eat. I give you access, not ownership. I told you in the kingdom we don't own things those who own things are rebels in the kingdom no man is an owner in the kingdom everyone only has access we are stewards high blood pressure is because we own things stroke and hypertension when you own things you worry about them when you own things you are concerned about keeping them god never gives a man ownership he gives every man access the prodigal son had access but he wanted ownership from the day ownership started in his life lack started he became a victim of the very situations that he was head over until he returned back to access and so the bible tells us that adam was given an instruction that in the very garden of eden there was a tree is that true and he said of every tree you may eat but this one is my portion. Leave it to me. The key to your dominion in this garden is not just prayer and fasting. There were no Bible studies in the garden of Eden. There were no apostles, no prophets, no miracle service. Only an instruction that obeying it will guarantee dominion. There were no churches in the garden of Eden. Only the presence of God and a heart willing to obey. And he says, this is the tithe of the garden. 
keep this tight. It is my designated portion. For as long as you honor my instruction and keep this portion, nothing will stop you from having access. Are you getting what I'm saying? Satan knew this. And so when he came and beguiled Eve, he made them to touch of the tithe. The moment man touched of the tithe, that very factor that made creation respond to him was lifted. And at once, everything began to fight him. The very leaves he was supposed to dominate now became his covering. He started running and we see fear. We see lies. We see intimidation because of one instruction violating the designated portion are you getting what i'm saying now then the bible tells us watch this the bible tells us how that he was sent out of a land of abundance and supply and peace and prosperity and goodness out of eden to a land of struggle the earth was caused for his sake there was no longer dominion over the earth god never caused man God caused the earth and by causing the earth, creation also responded to that. Watch this. I told us last week that there is an ability of God that comes upon a man that makes everything under the sun work in his favor. This is what the Bible calls the blessing. The blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit that makes everything including problems, challenges, everything to work for you when that ability of the spirit is upon you no matter what happens in your life it must work for you it's a law let me tell you what it means to be cursed to be cursed does not mean that you are carrying just an evil pronouncement no a curse is an atmosphere a curse is like an anointing in a negative sense upon your life that makes creation fight you. Everything fights you. Opportunities fight you. Friends fight you. A blessing fights you. When a man who is cursed stands, his atmosphere not only fights him, but it fights anybody who wants to help him. Are you getting the point now? So the idea of curse is not just about what happens in covenants? The earth has been authorized by a divine pronouncement to fight anyone who dishonors the designated portion. Listen, let me tell you something. This system we are working in is already cost. It's a cost system. There is nothing you can do about it. Your only key is to exempt yourself. And there is a law. It's an ancient mystery of exemption. That exempts you from the inevitable vicissitudes of life. A job cannot exempt you. An educational qualification cannot exempt you. Nothing aside from the operation of the laws of the spirit can exempt you. Now the Bible tells us about Abraham. Who was an idol worshipper. That came from a land called Or of the Chaldeans. In Genesis chapter 12, the Bible tells us how that God told Abraham, come out of your kindred and your father's house to a land that I will show you. He began to propose to Abraham how that he would bless him and told Abraham, I will make you the landlord of the earth. Something will happen upon your life that will make the earth to become your possession. And then in chapter 14, when he went to capture lot and bring him back the bible says he met a strange man called melchizedek who was a king of an ancient city of peace called salem the ancient name for jerusalem the hebrew is jerusalem an ancient city of peace a man according to hebrews with no origin no beginning no end no father no mother a man who was operating in the office of the priesthood and the bible says when abraham encountered this priest a transaction happened between two of them please follow me the bible says abraham took the tenth of all and gave unto melchizedek do you believe that he took a tenth of all gave unto melchizedek when he gave a tenth of all to melchizedek melchizedek received it and did what he 
activated the blessing he said blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and at once the earth started walking abimelech wanted to take his wife that is a bad situation is that not true but because of the blessing abimelech released the wife and gave him gifts gave him gifts a man one moment you want to take away his wife another moment you not only become his friend you honor him with gifts there is a mystery that governs this creation do you know what we call bad luck you know what we call misfortune misfortune is not just an issue of witchcraft like ancestry misfortune is the resultant effect of taking from the designated portion there is already an authorization whether there are witches in your family or not that every time you touch god's portion you violate a law the earth starts reacting to it at once are you getting blessed now the destiny of abraham was opened up on account of this portion jacob who was the um son from the lineage of abraham watch this jacob worked for laban is that not true laban cheated jacob right he was about to give him a daughter and he said i will work seven years and then he exchanged rachel with leah and he worked for another seven years then he had been with him six years 20 years of oppression from a man but it still didn't matter because something was upon him and he said all right this is what will happen take your spotted calf i will take calves that are not spotted the bible tells us like begets like and jacob said from the calves that are not spotted if they give birth we will watch if those unspotted calf give birth to spotted children they are my own and the bible says he took ordinary stick it was not an ordinary stick brothers and sisters and the calves will come to mate just looking at a stick a white cow or a a a a, a, a spotless um, animal will now give birth to another animal that is spotted it is not just creation was working for him when so even if you cheated him something happened and the cows or the animals started giving birth and laban said my goodness what is happening leave my presence that is a man who has honored god with his portion today i want to show you a dimension of the dominion mystery of titan watch this do you know why many people never walk in kingdom authority many churches are barren producing posters now i'm not against that but i'm saying every week hand bills every week running around scrounging for members threatening people with causes let me tell you why because there is a law that they are violating consistently and god is no respecter of person the laws of the spirit has equal value in any territory equal value is god speaking to us tonight when moses died please look up everyone when moses died the bible tells us how that he told joshua he said moses my servant is dead and now joshua had a responsibility to throw down jericho and he was afraid because the bible tells us that jericho was a mighty city do you know the fence of jericho according to scripture five chariots could stand on the fence how will you break through that fence that is a challenge but he said i will show you something watch this 5 verse 1 of Joshua open our eyes oh God and let men and women walk away from their chains forever in the name of Jesus Christ five verse one and it came to pass it will be a fast reading when all the kings of the Amorites who were on the side of Jordan westward and all the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel 
until we were passed over that their hearts melted neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of israel now watch this they were about to challenge jericho and when the other kings heard of the mighty things that god did the kings tried to decipher what is it about israel that makes them always win battles what is it that makes them whether you have a greater armory than them is insignificant they will throw you down there was a mystery of dominion they were working with and god was about to introduce joshua joshua was just a young ruler taking over from moses and this is what he told him let's see the mystery let's take chapter 5 verse 2 5 verse 2 are you there now let's look at it it says at that time the lord said unto joshua do what he said make sharp knives he's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of moses make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of israel the second time let's continue three and joshua made sharp knives and circumcised all the children at the heel of the foreskins and then and this is the reason why he circumcised them all the people that came out of egypt were males even all the men of war they died in the wilderness after they came out of egypt five now all the people that came out were circumcised but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way when they came forth out of egypt were not circumcised are you seeing that now all those who had been winning and making israel make progress it was because they were circumcised but he said these guys are not circumcised and if you don't circumcise them something dangerous is about to happen to you verse 6 it says for the children of israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead them joshua circumcised for they were uncircumcised because they had not circumcised them by the way verse 8 watch this and it came to pass when they were done circumcising all the people they abode in their places watch this joshua is afraid of conquering jericho and the walls that are before him and god said no problem heaven wants to come into your affairs but you need to authorize them it says circumcise the people the moment the circumcision finished verse 9 let's see what happened and the lord said to joshua this day i have what rolled away the reproach of egypt my goodness so all the while they were carrying the reproach because they were not circumcised he said the moment a circumcision a separation a cutting away happened he said this day i have rolled away the reproach of egypt from you wherefore the name of the place to this day is called gilgal go to verse 13 let's see something mysterious that happened verse 13 everyone look up and it came to pass listen joshua was by jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision he saw a strange man who came and said i'm ready to partner with you you have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair that man had been there all the while but there was no access he said you need help you can't conquer jericho by your strength the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but i come i'm also a warrior but i fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors i am also a captain i lead a battalion i help men on earth who invite us to come you are seated on the throne and he said and joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him what saith my lord to his servant next verse watch this and the captain of the lord's host said unto joshua loose thy shoe from off your foot 
from the place you stand is holy ground and joshua did so next verse now jericho was straightly short watch this let me just save our time are you noticing what is happening here immediately after the circumcision he saw the captain then the captain started revealing to him the strategy this is how you will take jericho otherwise they would have died there because physically speaking jericho was insurmountable now watch this your tight in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision your tight is an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you this is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go through circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and God is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it he says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have beckoned on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here when you see them you imagine there is no amount of invitation you would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit he said i am come as a captain in other words the same way you fight there are spiritual arsenals to wait in you have been trying to fight every battle in your life just by using physical arsenals and the lord is saying the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of god we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch god's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person god is my witness that i honor him and that portion that belongs to him this is why i'm dangerously protected it's not about a man no 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 dangerously protected i share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne tonight God is asking you are you ready to stop struggling in life let me tell you struggling is a cause if you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle I am telling you now struggling is a cause 
is a cause from the pit of hell. You will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money. Because money is not missing. You were never supposed to look for it. Hallelujah. You will never be able to serve God if you allow this mammon, the spirit that takes the heart of men away from God to begin to pursue other things. Trying to look for earthly relevance. There are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks. You will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything. Give us James chapter 2 verse 26. I hope we'll be able to find it. I'm reserving it for next week. By the way, next week Friday here is going to be a powerful vigil. Hallelujah. Yes. Next week is going to be a vigil. It's going to be a time of prayer and worship. We're inviting guests from all over. Now watch this. The Lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life. I shared it in Abuja. I was reserving it to start the teaching next week. But your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture. And let's, let's touch it a bit. Paul. Watch this. Oh, sorry, James. The apostle, James was teaching on faith and works corresponding action is that true and while he was teaching on faith and works he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work he completely he, he compares it with something he says for as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that I can interact with him is because there is a spirit. Is that true? If the spirit leaves this body, what happens? I will reject the body. All of you will reject the body. Are you getting me? And we will have to bury him because it is a body. Though complete, it has no spirit. Are you getting me? Now, I want you, media, please keep it there. Keep it there so that we'll... I want you to remove the word us and just read... Just the first line to the comma. Are you ready? One to read. One more time. One more time. For the body without the spirit is dead. It is said for the body of man. For any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it, it is dead. For any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead for any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body it says for a body without a spirit so the nation of israel was like a body without a spirit and he said joshua you will lose you need the spirit component and circumcision authorized the spirit when the realm of the spirit came they said let's go we can take jericho and with one shout this was what david knew that as big as goliath was he was a body without a spirit the other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm ah goliath was shouting and david looked at him he said i see a body but there is no covenant no spirit what is the force in the spirit backing you? And Goliath said, am I a dog? Even if you fight me, honor me. And David said, you are joking. You don't know who is talking. I'm not alone. I, I, you are an uncircumcised. See the word again. See the word again. You are an uncircumcised. I would have been afraid of you. I would have considered your threat if you were circumcised. Where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit? And he said, I'm circumcised. I may be weak, but there is a government that backs me. When you get this key, my brother, you will run as if Satan does not exist. I promise you. I promise you. This, you can jump around for deliverance. You can hop from everywhere. But the body without a spirit is dead. So your boss in the office knows this. And there is a spirit that backs his chair. You just get up with your 
your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot because all in that office is not just a chair it's a throne there are spirits back in it that's why the bible said they that knew their god they that have connected with a spiritual advantage they shall be strong shall do experience rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you and your life will be nothing short of a wonder how many people listen i have given up on trying to do things by my strength because i know i'm wasting my time the body in the same way the next time somebody stands and threatens you that is a body without a spirit see no matter what talk people talk i only consider you if you are connected spiritually are you getting what i'm saying i will deal with you the body without the spirit is dead i will make sure you leave this job the body without the spirit is dead you only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three-dimensional realm because there is an assistance whether demonic or whatever are you getting me circumcision is that key there are many who continue ah we have a an extent we are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week friday i'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man you will get up and jump and shout tonight all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down i smile around the stage i would have died of hypertension if i'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered heaven is jealous jealous to protect his own because god's designated portion listen when you steal your tight you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tight just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said i will pour you a blessing you will not have room in other words no matter how greedy you are your lifetime cannot exhaust it so when you steal you have endangered the destiny of your children god's portion if anyone ever told you tithing is all about money that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong tithing has nothing to do with money it's the law of open heavens let me surprise you if your tithe is ten thousand and you carry one million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that ten thousand you are operating under a closed heaven don't convince yourself that because you gave one million the heavens is open it is called due process i'll teach you next week there is a protocol to spiritual things are you getting my point tithing is what opens your heavens and then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper if you like carry one billion give charity organization give for the building of church if you are not a tighter i guarantee you the bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron all of them are conductors of heat get set for heat in your life when the heaven is open if not if for nothing we know there is ventilation fresh air the wind comes but when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron many of us here no matter what prayer happens in this that's why we took the communion the devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised the devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality even jesus christ acknowledged them that's why he said he is the head 
of principalities. It destroys men's lives on legal basis. This earth is too wicked for you to allow chance. No. I pray for people all the time. People with cancers, HIV, tuberculosis, communicable diseases. Imagine if I refuse to be faithful. I would die like a chicken because most times I lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here. They know that some of these things are physically not healthy. But I'm circumcised. My goodness. You invoke my name in a shrine. Both the invoker, the invokee, and the ordinance. It, they will burn to ashes. Ashes. No matter how mad a man is. He doesn't enter fire by mistake. He can cross the road and you say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, he fears off. When heaven backs you. Let me tell you, your life becomes a wonder even to you. This ministry is a wonder to everyone. Not just because we are so smart. We are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit. Because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep. Cry out, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, spirit of the deep, cry out, God, oh, you are mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne, you are 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 mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your road. You are mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. Man toskala bandigalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Prayer point number one. Oh God. By the blood I cry for mercy. Where I have allowed the devourer. I have stolen from my tithe. Your designated portion. I have allowed the devil deceive me. That the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize. And I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe. Is your spiritual circumcision. Eso para que te pitanga bakata. Pato poto si bakata. And the kapa soto prekete. Bakata kete kete rebaska. Embrake si kapa talaba. Bakata prekete. Embrake te kita ya sha. Rapa bakata. Repete te kita pato. Shakata shakata. Ande repata sha. Why are you praying? Berake te. Die for mercy. Oh. Die for mercy. 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 Die for mercy.
If you take what I've shared tonight, for many of you, this is your secret. It's your password to a mysterious level of lifting. A level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators. God's portion. The time. His designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the lord is going to do i want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen i want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night. Lift your voice. It's the seventh month. The gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Just add one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen oh 
I want you to pray. Listen. There are giants on every mountain. Every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go. But tonight, I want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say, I must go tonight. Lift your voice. Inside and outside. Cry. I must walk away. That carrying out disease must die today. That cancer must die today. That HIV must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow we just move and we don't stop so you have one minute while you are praying in tongues just write your prayer request very quickly so that when it's time to pass it you just pass it very fast make sure you don't keep silent Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you.
miracles, a reign of deliverances, a reign of impartations, a reign of breakthroughs. We forcefully advance tonight. We compel gates to be open. We compel doors to be open. We compel every handwriting of darkness to give way in this place tonight. And we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit. And that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit. Lord, that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to begin to minister to us. And while I prayed for this in the course of the week, again and again, I kept seeing... Please pay attention. Can I have strings, 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 strings? Hallelujah. I kept seeing again and again, spirits, watch this, spirits leeching onto people. This is what I kept seeing. Like a man sitting on a man's shoulder. I saw this over many people and I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord began to, re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families. And the Lord said, when I come up, he said, the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers. Dislodge those powers. I saw them like a man, like a child will sit down on the shoulder of another, bringing a resistance to your destiny. And I'm about to pray for you right now. There are so many people under the sound of my voice. So many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone um, uh, suffering from severe migraine. But then that migraine you think is just sickness. We are about to make a shout, brothers and sisters. This shout is like the sling of David. It looks ordinary, but there is a circumcision upon it. It's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm. It's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men. It's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic. It's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now. There will be mighty deliverances. Mighty deliverances. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name Jesus my goodness I sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of God will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of God especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you Jesus Father, in the name of your son, I pray right now and I sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit. I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that the fire of the spirit, oh, restrain not your hand, oh mighty one. We pray that you arise as a man of war. There are destinies at the mercy of your touch. I pray that by this shout, oh God, there be a visitation. That by this shout, oh God, everyone here, under any spirit, help them please. Help them. Bring them out. Everyone here, under any influence, as we shout, let fire catch them and visit their foundations. And I command every power that at this shout, you will let God's people go inside and outside. One, two, Three, shout that name. I command witchcraft, powers of darkness, right now, right now, 
in the name of Jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of God is falling on people falling on people I cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we are going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically. Right now, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus! Oh yes! That fire! That fire! Of the Holy Ghost! Brings deliverance! Outside! 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 Miracles! Mighty deliverances! By the power of the Holy Ghost! You must let them go! You must let them go! Right now! By fire! Hey! Para tototos! Breketes kata! La kata kata! Hey! Protos kata! Para to! Hallelujah! Lift your hands. There are people here. As I begin to speak, the Holy Ghost will locate them. I'm seeing ladies. Ladies, a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you. Right now, by fire, oh God locates them. Right now, right now, right now. I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Ladies, ladies, a miracle is happening to sisters. I cost those feelings. I cost those feelings. I cost I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now, as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person right now wherever that person is in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus inside and outside the power of God comes upon that person <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. Please lift 
your hands lift your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of jesus families i see altars on fire are you ready now father any family under the yoke of bondage as they shout this name let there be a visitation one two three Jesus! Families, be free now! Be free now! All families, right now, I curse them! I curse them! I curse them! I curse them! By the blood of Jesus! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands i'm hearing marital spells marital spells please lift your hands listen hear me something mighty is about to happen here the lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as i begin to speak the wind i see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh god visit them right now in the name of jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one, two three jesus Spells. Spells. Be broken. 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 Be I'm hearing a name Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Hallelujah. 
who is Israel I'm hearing a name Israel Israel the Lord is ministering to me tonight he must let you go let you go hallelujah now the Lord is showing me a woman you are here you had a miscarriage there is a woman here who had a miscarriage it's like you had a child and you lost the baby and the Lord is telling me please help them those under the anointing so that we don't this place is not rowdy listen let me tell you something the anointing of the spirit does not make the difference the anointing is the difference the anointing does not make the difference without the anointing we are just making noise here but by the anointing and i'm telling you this no matter where you are whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back i want you to connect because god is visiting you and every one of you must have a touch Dorcas. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying. She's where is she? Mina, Niger State. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands, Father. Change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord sets you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? I don't know. Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. Yes, you believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, sir. It's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. Sir. This Amen, sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are Dorcas. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you, yourself, otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship. But hold my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring rest to this lady. Bring rest to her in the name of Jesus Christ. Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage? There is a woman that had a miscarriage. And the Lord is asking me to minister to her. We may not be able to minister to everybody, but there is, there is someone. Please make sure you don't sit back. The Lord is ministering to me about that person. So that we'll just, we'll just pray for her. Dogara. Dogara. I'm hearing a name Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You? Your name is Dogara. Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home in Kaduna. He's, he's at home. Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never. If they are permitting anything, please and please carry them out of we are about to pray please don't worry in the name of Jesus I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident in the name of Jesus it will not come to pass we cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ amen madam I want to pray for you the way I'm holding your hands that's the way the Lord is saying I should tell you he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life. And he's bringing joy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come. There's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family. Because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. 
it's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Okay. Yes, huh? yes, it's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage yes, because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, huh? yes, and that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand up pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You are all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just do what I do. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of god is against you in the name of jesus christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of jesus christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of jesus christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby snake. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is liberty for this boy. There's liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There's liberty. Hallelujah. Now, all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want to I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice, I represent the most high. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now. One, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out of their lives. Out now. Never to return. At your Lord. Live their lives. Live their destinies. Restoration of virtue. Of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You. This lady looking at me. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah. Come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying, and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? 
you believe me you will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify in the name of Jesus Christ I pray the Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach madam the reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you the reproach of many years is being rolled away I'm seeing like a baller that's what I'm seeing a trash place where they pour dirt and I'm seeing a new seed shooting out and that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of Jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady I curse you now I curse you I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. People of God, don't think we are playing games here. I know you may see some of the things happening. These are the powers that have tied down men's life. It's not solved by counseling. You are just moving in the physical. Yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound. We are not embarrassed. We are never embarrassed to set people free. Because that's what Jesus said. There's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Father, jobs now. In the name that is above all names. I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life. Lord, I declare. Everyone called jobless here. By the favor of God, I terminate joblessness right now. By the favor of God, I terminate joblessness right now. Anyone who has applied for any job, I compel them to call you. I compel them to call your loved ones. I compel them to favor you. Have anyone here called Agnes? Agnes. I'm hearing a name Agnes. The Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes. We we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly. Agnes. I'm hearing the name Agnes. God is ministering to me. He wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes. Do we have anyone there? Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Your name too. The family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg, mysteriously, 
paining you and it looks it's, it's like swollen this is what i see in a vision that the lord is showing me who is that person your leg is swollen where is it which of the legs Look what, look, if, if the devil, you remember I told you this, a body without the spirit, look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is, is, if it can, look at one, two, three, four, five people holding one person. Imagine what it would do to someone's destiny. I say this without a sense of cynicism many of the people that god is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of god in our churches and stop playing games with god because god's idea is not just for one platform hallelujah swollen legs no 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 don't, you don't you don't have to madam i see you too your legs for how long what's the situation with her is her leg swollen okay hold on she can't walk baby how are you hallelujah please help us with the mic who brought her okay no it's okay it's okay what's your name annie your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick, then we let them come out. I'm just going to to special cases. Leg. Your leg. All of you who had a dream in a dream is like something was shot it's like i don't know if it was an arrow i'm seeing something that looks like a dream and something was shot on your legs if the person is not here, i'm seeing someone who had that dream it's like i don't know if it was like a gun or something or an or a, 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 a sharp object i know that it was it's like it was shot to your leg Something beat me when I was sleeping. I just broke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the Spirit. In my dream. You were shot? Fired at you? Yes. And what happened to you? I, only, I prayed when I woke up. You prayed when you woke up. The Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is swollen. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining a bit. It's a, for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken for Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand. You can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's the same. It's cut to coach. Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. True, it, according to my dad, it 
entered his thigh and came and out, came out. The this other is thigh. the person I'm talking about yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to the present the sky where is, is he here. is he here he's in Lagos sir he's in Lagos yes sir you believe God will touch him yes sir when I pray for you call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for yes sir huh? yes, because sir. this is witchcraft where are you from I'm from Benue State what's your name my name is Kate Kate yes sir from Benue State hold yes, my hand father visit this family you have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I curse this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have two nail pains. Since Me? I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since so I can't you... Since I was sick for six months, but well, he used to swell up. But now I can't walk. I can walk and be hearing sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay. How about you? My leg is swollen for five years. Five years. I cannot stand. No. Where is? Which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? I'm not two months now. I started to Two, two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you two. Your legs yes. swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your chest the Lord is bringing you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus this is witchcraft for five years I'm seeing a spirit go go in the name of Jesus you can't remain in her the swollen legs I command the swelling to go down in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus mama I pray for your leg in Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I curse the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. 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 Break every chain.
how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities. We are going to do this very, very fast. All of you who are sitting, make sure you are connected and um, you are participating. While we are ministering to the sick, I want you to pass your prayer request. Ushers, you can walk around. Please make sure all those outside, even those on the roadside, make sure that we receive their prayer request because I'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards. Myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you. Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you're standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and save The Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. what is wrong with you just the laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities
can't walk. You can't walk. For how long? No, 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 no. What's wrong? For how long? You were born like that. Just like that. Let's pray and watch what God will do. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Can we hear it? If never, you could not walk by your own. You will fall. Are your legs strong enough? Lord Jesus. Is this not why you died? Did he not help you? He came here believing you. You have made this place a place of healing and miracles. Look at the condition of this brother. The legs. Look at me. Leave him. Remove your hands. Look at me. Have you tried walking before? Huh? Lift your leg. Try lifting. Lift it. Lift the other one. Lift it. Lift it. You are mighty. Look at me. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. 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 Come on, you celebrate are mighty Jesus. On your throne. Completely. The legs are open. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus, my heart will sing. Yeah. Heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus. 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 Those outside, can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Now God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Lord we are praying please make sure you are praying outside stretch your hands towards the screen say Lord I receive it I receive it lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray Pray from the depth of your heart.
Lord, let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies, we are bound in great ways, Lord. Unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, people that are insane, you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus. We pray for contracts that long delayed. Lord, we pray that, Lord, they will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. And we pray for a shield of protection over your saints, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit. Let the fire of God call, come on cold altars in the name of Jesus. Let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us, Lord. We give you praise, blessed Father, for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit. We thank you in the name of Jesus we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's by the anointing. It's not by English. Burdens are destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. This last segment, you've heard me say it again. This is the most powerful and most impactful segment. If you're not a man of the spirit, you may not understand what I'm saying. Please help them. This is the most powerful of this segment right now. Before we go into this where I begin to prophesy, there are two dimensions to prophecy. There is the revelatory dimension of prophecy. That dimension of prophecy gives you direction. But the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension. That's when things that are not become by the 
power of the spoken word never joke with the power of prophecy that's the power that created the heavens and the earth he said i prophesied as i was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of god i want to commit my life to the lord i've seen the miracles i've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a christian name is not the same as having a relationship with jesus there are some you've given your heart to the lord at one time please help those under the anointing i tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now i sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why i'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying i want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of god and you are saying lord i have heard your word and i'm not ashamed to make jesus my lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now i'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep coming, God bless you. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won. Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. Sasa Dibuchi. Sasa Dibuchi. When you hear the voice of the Lord, I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says, This is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. But he said this life is in his son until you have the son you do not have that life lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of jesus i want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem it's not a special number this is a decision there's one of you here you smoke all these kinds of things it go and the rest ah huh? but as you pray this prayer the power is broken over your life say after me as loud as you can from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night i make jesus lord of my life i repent of my sins i declare that eternal life comes into my spirit i am born again i'm a child of god from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever i am a new creation in christ in the name of jesus the power of sin 
is broken over my life in the name of Jesus I receive of your life in Jesus name I pray now I stretch my hands over you and I declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of Jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of Jesus I declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life I release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of Jesus it is wiped away I set you free I break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah I want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session I want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the Lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please I want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the Bible says revive thy walk in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where God perfects all things as I prophesy to you please I want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer Satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is, is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time I know you are trying as ushers just stand around Satan does not have authority I want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but Satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore Satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the Lord lift your hands I prophesied as I was commanded you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne father in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year an anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea cross every Red Sea cross every Red Sea in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding I'm praying for you some of you listen as I pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head is an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one 
two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. Take it now. That anointing. Receive it for exploits. Shaka ta ta ta. Inside and outside. Take it for exploits. 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 Hallelujah. Everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy I command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see Lord of spiritual vision I pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as I'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the Holy Ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Hallelujah. There are many of us here. Dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction. But for many of us, our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there. The Bible says they will dream dreams. 
it says they will see visions shakataba lift your hands there will be an, a restoration anointing right now i just want you to shout i receive listen many things will happen to you many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where god will start showing you the blueprint for the next level right now in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout i receive let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams hallelujah it says what do you have in your house and she said nothing except a jar of oil i want to prophesy upon your gift it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed there are many of you the gift you have can bring bread to your table but nobody is seeing it it's one thing to be gifted it's one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now Eriakata, creativity, creativity. I release it. I release that anointing. Creativity, skill, expertise, competence, proficiency. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's God's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light I pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you. Hallelujah. Everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year, you have tried by your strength. I'm releasing grace upon your life right now. Go back to that same thing and watch how God will bless you through it. I pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here I strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine Lift your hands one last prayer listen I want to activate the gift of the Spirit without the gift of the Spirit upon your life your life will be barren and unfruitful it says for I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as I speak father I come under this apostolic anointing right now 
across the length and breadth in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 i activate the prophetic i open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit i declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow i prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls i mean connections mysterious happenings I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you I command the wind to work for you I command the stars to work for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony Hallelujah. if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers but we give you an identity you will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the christ make your way to the front koinonia celebrate them glorious glorious god brought them by his spirit is this the best you can do in appreciation to what the mighty god has done for us as a house hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son Attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message 
be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you